Hey everybody, it's your old pal Hal, and today we're going to talk about octave pedals for your ukulele. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. It's your old pal Manitoba Hal, and today I want to talk to you about octave pedals. What's an octave pedal? It is a device designed to raise the octave of your instrument or lower the octave of your instrument. And why would you want that? Well, because it will allow you to get a broader range of tone out of a single instrument. Now, typically, it's been my experience that a lot of ukulele players, they get tired of the sound of their instrument. You know, you've been playing like this for a number of years. And you're going, okay, well, this is what it sounds like. And it's, I want something different. So you go out and buy a banjo ukulele, or you go out and buy a tiple, an eight-string ukulele. Uh, or you get into a tenor or a baritone and you're spending hundreds of dollars buying another instrument to get more tonal variations. Well, for about $100, you can buy an octave pedal like this TC Electronic Sub and Up that I have sitting here. Now, how this works is it takes the signal that you put into it through your pickup and it raises or lowers it. So, for example, you've got three knobs. You've got a dry knob, which is your main volume signal out. You've got a sub octave knob which is the one on the left here that my thumb is turning down and you've got an up octave here on the right if i turn the dry all the way up and i turn the pedal on you'll see that notification light comes on i have the same thing that i always had no difference no change but if i turn that dry all the way down and i bring that sub octave up I now have an octave below. And that's a very distinctive tone. But more than that, I can also blend in an upper octave. So I can totally change the characteristics of my ukulele. And I'll do this like this. Now, I'm not actually hearing this right now, so I'm guessing that what that sounds like. I think this should sound a little bit like, a, like an eight string. Now, it doesn't have the multiple string fail, but I'll tell you. Definitely different. And you can use any variation of this. You can bring in more of the dry signal on top so that you can have a blend of all of it. Now, the way I use an octave pedal is I pull the dry and the high all the way off and I turn the sub octave all the way up. And why do I do this? Because I want to make my ukulele a bass. So now I've dropped everything down one octave and that puts the ukulele in the range of a guitar. So sonically it's not a bass really, but it gives that feeling when compared to a ukulele. And then with my looper I'll record a bass line. Like pattern like and together that sounds like This is essentially what I think uh, is a better option than buying another ukulele. Now, I'm not trying to be a spoil sport. If you want to buy another ukulele because you like it, because you want the sound, because uh, your favorite artist plays one, by all means, go ahead and do it. I, I'm not trying to rain on your parade. I'm simply trying to say that for a lot less money, you could buy uh, a pedal that would change the tone of the instrument you already have, giving you a broader tonal spectrum and uh, helping you to reignite your passion for the sound and the uh, quality of, uh, well, the qualities that a ukulele brings you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please do like and subscribe. I need to send a thank you out to all of my patrons for continuing to uh, support this channel. And right now, if you want to join my patron page for the remainder of March, not many days left, 
but all through March I'm giving away a copy of my ukulele blues method book and my um, my uh, ukulele at the crossroads book and I'm choosing from among my patrons so if that's something that interests you or if you wanted to support this channel please do go over uh, join and as long as your entry is in before the end of, or as long as you've joined before the end of the month you'll be included in the draw which is happening April 15th anyway we'll see you later have a good day